सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड गाइज इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ई एस आई सेक्शन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी एंड नबार्ड सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन गाइज बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर यू हेयर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन ताकि आपको वीडियोज की नोटिफिकेशन मिल सके एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप फॉर डेली क्विजेस and updated information about the sessions all right so let's begin with the very first question which two states have become the first group of states to complete three out of four reforms stipulated by the ministry of finance under atmanirbhar package so guys if you remember uh, during the atmanirbhar package so ministry of finance said that agar koi state चार में से तीन रिफॉर्म्स को 31 दिसंबर 2020 तक कंप्लीट कर लेगा देन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस विल प्रोवाइड द एडिशनल फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस टू दो स्टेट्स ऑल राइट एंड विच आर दीज फोर फोर रिफॉर्म्स वन इज वन नेशन वन रेशन कार्ड रिफॉर्म वन नेशन वन रेशन कार्ड नंबर वन नंबर टू इज ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस रिफॉर्म्स ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस रिफॉर्म नंबर थ्री इज अर्बन लोकल बॉडी रिफॉर्म अर्बन लोकल बॉडी एंड नंबर फोर इज पावर सेक्टर रिफॉर्म्स राइट सो दीज आर द फोर रिफॉर्म्स और जिसमें से मिनिस्टर ऑफ फाइनेंस ने ये बोला था कि इनमें से कोई भी तीन अगर कंप्लीट कर लेता है कोई स्टेट टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी देन दैट स्टेट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद द एडिशनल फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द मिनिस्टर ऑफ फाइनेंस राइट एंड देर आर टू स्टेट दैट बिकेम द फर्स्ट ग्रुप ऑफ स्टेट दैट हैव कंप्लीटेड थ्री आउट ऑफ फोर रिफॉर्म्स एंड विच आर दीज थ्री थ्री रिफॉर्म्स That these states have completed these these three. Number one, number two, and number three. One nation, one nation card. Ease of doing business. Urban local body reforms. All right. So let's discuss this. So guys, these two states are Madhya Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh. All right. You should remember the name of these two states. So Madhya Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh have become the first group of states to complete three out of four reforms that was stipulated by the Department of Expenditure under the Ministry of Finance under the Atman Nirbhar package. Okay. And as I told you. these are the three reforms that they have completed one nation one ration card ease of doing business urban local body reforms and the number four is what power sector which is not completed but you should remember the name of all the four reforms and its a benefit ye hai that they will get rupees 1004 crore okay jo 1004 crore rupees unko additional amount diya jayega financial assistance mein and out of this 1004 crore 334 crore will be given to uh, andhra pradesh by 660 crore will be given to madhya pradesh all right so you should remember the bifurcation of this 1004 crore also all right and moving ahead so if you remember this scheme ye ek scheme launch hui thi for capital expenditure boost we have discussed earlier in the atmanirbhar package so let's revise this so an interest free 50 years loan will be provided to the states aur usme teen category thi number one is rupees 200 crore each for the northeastern states While for the hilly states like uh, Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh, the total amount sanctioned is how much? Rupees four hundred and fifty crores. While for the other states, total amount sanctioned is how much? Rupees seven thousand five hundred crores for capital expenditure boost. All right. And this may a lot of component be that which is this that rupees two thousand crore will be given to those states which fulfill at least three out of the four reforms under the Atma Nirbhar package. And remember, Tamil Nadu has not availed the benefits of this scheme. All right. So I hope guys, this news is clear. And remember one thing also that all the above loans to be spent by the March thirty first March two thousand and twenty one. All right, this is very important. This you should remember. And fifty percent of the amount will be given initially, and the rest fifty percent project ke complete hone ke baad. Okay. And now let's come to question number one. So you have to identify the name of these two states. So I hope you can easily identify the name of these states. Now guys. It's Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Option C, Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh will be the correct answer. Okay. And now let's move on to question number two. With which paramilitary forces KVIC has signed an MOU for supply of 1.72 lakh cotton berries every year? This guys question is important and can be asked in your one marker. Okay. This is not a two marker question, of course. This can be asked in one marker. तो केवीआईसी ने एक पैरामिलिट्री फोर्स के साथ एमओयू साइन किया है फर्स्ट सप्लाई ऑफ 1.72 लाख कॉटन दरीज एंड द टोटल वर्थ ऑफ दिस दीस दरीज इज हाउ मच 8.74 करोड़ ओके 8.74 करोड़ का टोटल वर्थ है और हर साल 1.72 लाख कॉटन दरीज उनको सप्लाई की जाएगी किनको टू द पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस ऑलराइट एंड दिस एमओयू गाइस 
KVIC has signed with ITBP. All right, so option B, ITBP is the correct answer. And ITBP protects our border with uh, China. And currently, SS Deiswal is the Director General of ITBP. And, and talking about SSB, so uh, SSB protects our border with Bhutan and Nepal. All right, while BSF protects our border with Pakistan and Bangladesh. All right, Pakistan and Bangladesh and talking about Indo Indo Myanmar border, who protects it? Indo Myanmar border को कौन protect करता है? So it's Assam Rifles. Okay, they protects our Indo Myanmar border. Alright. And now let's come to question number three. With which country India has signed a memorandum of cooperation for partnership in specified skilled workers? So this country guys is Japan. Okay, let me tell you the answer for this country is Japan. And through this memorandum of, uh, memorandum of cooperation, uh, it would set an institutional mechanism for partnership and cooperation between the two countries for the uh, for specified skilled workers. Specified uh, specified skilled workers के लिए ये memorandum of cooperation है और उसमें होगा क्या? That on sending and accepting skilled Indian workers who have qualified the required skill and Japanese language test, उनको वहाँ पे job milegi in Japan mein, and they will also get a special residence status of specified skilled worker by the government of Japan. All right. So therefore, the correct answer should be what? Option C, Japan. Yoshi Mude Suga is the new Prime Minister of Japan. And now let's move on to question number 4 which is guys the last question for today because today the news are very less and this is again a, about a new loan. So government of India and new development bank. Now, who heads New Development Bank? It's Marcus Prado Troyo. And who is the uh, Vice President? It's an Indian whose name is Mr. Anil Kishora. Alright. So, New Development Bank and Government of India have signed a loan worth $646 million for two projects of roads and bridges and Mandal and Rural Connectivity. Mandal, you can say block. Okay, block connectivity. Identify the state. So, you have to identify the state, guys. So, this $646 million loan has been given to the Andhra Pradesh government for their two projects. And which are these two projects? Number one is Andhra Pradesh Roads and Bridges Construction Project comprises of a widening of 1600 km of state highways. While another project is Andhra Pradesh Mandal Connectivity and Rural Connectivity which is uh, about the widening of 1400 km of uh, district roads to double lane. Alright, so these are the two projects. Just remember the name of the projects Andhra Pradesh Roads and Bridges Construction Project, then we have Andhra Pradesh, Mandal Connectivity and Rural Connectivity. And remember, total how much $646 million has been given by the New Development Bank. And out of this $646 million, $323 million is given to this, while the rest $323 million is given to this, which means $323 million each is given to these two projects, which comprises of total $646 million loans uh, by New development bank. Alright, so therefore, guys, the correct answer is what? Option D, Andhra Pradesh. Alright, option D, Andhra Pradesh is the correct answer. And talking more about Andhra Pradesh, so uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy is the current chief minister of Andhra Pradesh. They have launched, they have launched Jagananna Thodu scheme. Jagananna Thodu scheme, which is an interest free loan scheme for the street vendors. They have launched YSR Bima scheme. YSR. Bima scheme which is uh, for the accident victims and uh, Rushi Konda Beach. Rushi Konda Beach of Andhra Pradesh has recently got the blue flag certification. Other than this, they have launched Abhaya app. Abhaya app for safety of women who are travelling in uh, autos and taxi. And there are three capitals of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh team capital hai. one is Amravati, which is the legislative capital. Amravati is what? Legislative capital. Then we have Vishakha Patna. Vishakha Patna is uh, executive capital. Then we have uh, Kurnul. Kurnul is the judicial capital. Alright. Kurnul is the judicial capital and Vishakha Patna mein recently Malabar ka phase 1 conduct hua hai. And phase 2 will be conducted in the Arabian Sea. Alright. So guys that's it for the session. I hope all the questions are clear. If you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Milte hai agle session mein. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.